Hello everybody, this is Abraham with NoShark Computer Services and today what we have here is a hard drive that has failed. After talking to the customer, it was disclosed to me that uh, what happened was the jack, uh, the USB and power jack combination or USB 3 and power jack combination was broke off. So he has taken it to Best Buy, obviously, and uh, to another shop, and uh, they charged him, and they didn't do anything. Uh, whenever there is a physical problem with uh, a hard drive of this type, you don't want to take it to Best Buy. You do want to take it to someone who can tell you, yes, I've done it before, yes, I can fix it. Or at least I'll make every effort to fix it the best I can. So let's see what we're going to find inside uh, after other people have tried. So to open this up, we need a credit card. This one has been opened, so the locks aren't as tough as one on the new one. So you just basically slide it into the side and slide it into another side. Now, the fact that it's broken doesn't mean, or the fact that somebody had said that it's not fixable doesn't mean it's not fixable, especially if it's Best Buy people. Okay. So there's a hard drive inside, and uh, we'll just pull it out um, using as much caution as we could. We could use the credit card, not bendy enough. We could use, you know, just the connector doesn't seem to be wiggling anymore, so whoever worked on it did reattach it. Okay, so the way the hard drive is held inside is with these rubber little uh, feet and they just uh, um, are, you know, press fit kind of into the case. So what we need to do is, uh, there is no apparent damage. Uh, we need to look at the work that people did. Let's see. Here is the connector. I don't know if uh, zoom is good. Uh, here are the connections, okay? But these connections are misleading. Uh, there cannot be only five connections to the board. I can see that these have been worked on. They are not nice, okay? So the soldering iron that was used was not hot. These are, um, I should say, sloppy work of somebody who does not have the proper equipment. But this is only attachment of the metal case to the board to give it strength when you pull things in, out, in and out. Um, this does not actually carry any data information on it, okay? So in order to see the real damage, we need to take the board off. And uh, sometimes a drive like this would need to be sent to a lab. It is okay, oh, before I start speaking, uh, we're gonna be using a Torx and uh, the size on it is, let me see, it's for those who know who don't know, okay, T6. If you ask me what size tool I'm using, uh, shouldn't be opening drives and doing any kind of maintenance, take it to somebody who knows what they're doing. So we could use the casing to store our screws. So as I was saying, taking out the board, you got to be careful. Um, you really ought to have an anti-static bag. I'm, I'm sorry, mat. You ought to be statically discharged, blah, blah, blah. 
Yes, if you don't know what you're doing, that's what you should do. In fact, if you see those things, um, first question should be, do you know what you're doing? So, now, the fact that I don't have them here doesn't mean I don't have them. There are situations where you have to have all that static stuff. This situation does not require it. Uh, so, talking about the lab, pulling the uh, circuit board does not cause any kind of warranty damage. It does not cause labs to look at you and say, who, who took it apart? So, you can take it off. Now, the screws that hold, um, you know, the, the top case, those are, they have uh, warranty, not warranty, uh, tamper evidence stickers and blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't be opening those up. In fact, you should not be opening drive at all, unless there's a particular sound in one of the videos that I have that calls for that opening. So, let's take a look. Don't know if this camera is going to be... Um, now, I am not totally... All right, so let me... If you look in here, between this black piece and the metal connector. All right, should probably bring in more light. Okay, and let's see if I can stabilize it. And just, come on, come on. Okay, there, oh, come on. There are the connectors, and if you look close, Okay, uh, I have a big monitor next to me that I'm uh, looking at all this. And I can see that the little tiny wires are broken off. And they're broken off big time, bad time. Uh, this is not going to be an easy uh, fix. It is fixable. We're going to have to use some really tiny soldering irons to reconnect these connectors. This is almost uh, neurosurgery, people. Um, doable. I don't know if the hard drive will respond. I mean, this is a mechanical damage, so if it will not respond, that means uh, the job was not done properly. Uh, looking at it, from here, it was not done at all. There is no work that was completed aside from reattaching the metal um, housing back to the board and that will not allow the hard drive to be read. So at this point the hard drive is not responding, the hard drive is not working, so I mean all of those connectors are torn up. Um, there is two data wires on USB and there is two plus and minus for power okay the power connector believe it or not is this smaller one and it has four total leads which means two for plus two for minus and if you look carefully on this side just make it a little more apparent on this side, you see two and two. Come on, this side here, okay? You see two and two, those are power connectors. Um, power connectors can be attached at the board level itself. Um, the bad thing is this black strip, plastic strip, this thing here, that's running over the top of the connectors that's hiding where they're going. So worst case scenario, I could probably just snip that plastic piece off um, and not, uh, not worry about it. So this is part one of uh, tearing apart the 
physically damaged drive. If uh, you have any questions, please uh, ask down below. If you um, would like to subscribe, please do. I will be putting part two, a more lengthy video on how I actually got the connector is reconnected and uh, we'll see what goes. Uh, before I go, I do have a donor drive that is very similar. Um, I know from experience you cannot just simply swap the circuit boards on these newer drives. Uh, they're coded on the inside and uh, Sadly, it's not as simple. On some older drives, you can do that. On the new drives, unfortunately, you cannot. So, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a good day.